It is a remarkable use of artificial intelligence from a local police department. St. Cloud is applying AI to its network of interconnected cameras. The AI technology can find just about anything police are looking for, and I'm saying in okay. seconds here, without having to watch all the feeds. St. Cloud's police chief showed News 6 anchor Eric Von Eck and how it's protecting our community. And we're going to select, say, red cars in the last 24 hours. So give me an example, Chief. Why would you search for a red car in the last 24 hours? So any type of critical incident that occurs, um, it could be something very significant. It could be a, a vehicular homicide. And see, already within seconds, we have 16 different results on one camera. St. Cloud Police Chief Douglas Gerke showed me what he calls the power of artificial intelligence when it comes to finding a needle in a haystack. In this example, a red car is the needle, and the haystack is a major city intersection recorded by a traffic camera. How long would it have taken for one person to go through that 24 hours of footage to try and find red cars? You think about that. So, um, my goodness, you start with even one detective uh, or two detectives and say, I'll take this amount at this bank of time. You take this bank of time. Think about them having to watch traffic after traffic for 24 hours straight. Think of all the extra time I can have those detectives out um, doing interviews. The software is called Fusis, where the 7,000 camera feeds stream into one dashboard, but the magic is the AI component, giving detectives the ability to pinpoint a person or a car at a particular point in the footage almost instantaneously. Chief Gerke showed me another example, this time searching for a suspect. And we can actually pick top color, bottom color, uh, a male or female, if she has a backpack or they have a bag or something else, a hat. And I noticed, Chief, that these are clothing, this is gender, but race is not a criteria here. And it never is. It's, that has nothing to do with it. We're looking for potential clothing description based on what a suspect or a victim might give us, so we use that. In five seconds, it found dozens of people matching the clothing description and this, a surprise. So it identified a person, and you might, even in motion. And you might not have been looking for a person on a motorbike. Right. So what if that person jumped on a motorcycle and started riding away? We would not have known that. The other thing the officers can do with this AI is set an alert. So let's say they're looking for a particular red truck that they expect at some point will pass in front of one of their cameras. They click on this forever button. So from now until it actually happens, they'll be getting an alert. Is there any downside to this? No. No, I will tell you, uh, it's important to know that this is a tool only. This is not something that we use for confirmation. Chief Gerke told me some violent crime in the city is down as much as 25% since the AI software started finding needles in haystacks, solving some crimes faster and solving crimes that otherwise might not have been solved at all. Protecting our community in St. Cloud, Eric Von Anken getting results, News 6. I mean, I definitely understand the allure of that because you would have so much manpower sitting there just sifting through yeah. all of that to find it. And if they can find something potentially in five seconds. Or if your kid were missing, you would want Correct. whatever. The, but I can see some people being a little scared about AI having access to our law enforcement cameras.